Hi guys, guess who? Yep, it's Johnny B again. And today we are going to bring you another Monster Legend element. And this one is nature. Or I like to call it grass. Um, as you can see, my nature does look to have a, the same monsters there. Uh, yes, I could be doing with a lot more. But as we'll just quickly check. There's not really a lot of nature monsters out there that I don't have. The only one that I wish I had was Sarah. She seems to be the only the one that I sort of re regret not getting yet. But even so, that doesn't change my top monster. Now, I will leave my top monster to last this time to shake it up a bit. So I will pick three monsters from nature. The Judgment would be my third. Yeah, his big judgment. Now, on the judgment fact is the reason he's three and not two or one or whatever is he doesn't have any stun moves, he doesn't have any possession moves, he is what I like to call is just a heavy hitter. So if you look at this skill set, very heavy damage. Which is good. Put some strength on him. He'll not kill the enemy. This one needs poison. Again, it's okay for war. He'll poison everybody for four turns. Yeah, if the war lasts for four turns. On this one, you'll heal yourself by 30%. That's quite good. And again, that one, life regeneration. It's good for a monster, but this monster is more an attacking player. Uh, he, he's not a controlling player. So if this monster goes first, unless he kills the, the monster that's due to go he's, he's, he's not the best at all um, any special skill deals very heavy natural damage so he is my third choice for nature my second cyan so again she's second on my list she has a, a multiple poison move same as the judgment Again, deals uh, moderate nature damage to all enemies, so that one's that one's kind of good, especially if you get some strength behind that. But she heals all the allies by 15%, and they can get an extra turn, so that's one of the reasons why she was second. And again, she can regenerate. So yeah, the other two guys can regenerate, but basically themselves. But again, if this monster was to go first. She can't stop any other monster from going. Now, as you guys might have seen in my other videos, is in order to win wars, you need to stop the other team from having to go. Uh, there's a special move. She deals special heavy damage to all enemies, and they get to regenerate. Okay, it's it's okay, but it's not the best. My best tip for you guys is Lamu or Lamo or whatever. <laughs> um, okay, poisons. He can poison one enemy, which is great, and he can heal 40%, that could be handy. Now, this is one of the ones I like to do. He can obviously use that and it applies two random effects to each monster. Now that could be stamina removes, dazed, uh, frozen, stunned, possessed, similar to that, and that's for all enemies, so that's quite handy. And this is a move I like to do, is Possessed. Now, if he's to go first, and he would possess the next person in the war, then big chances are you've got to step up. Step up. Now, who I like to possess is somebody that has a lot of health, no health, sorry, strength on the opposite team that can do the most damage. Now, they're the kind of people that I like to possess. So I would probably normally use, when I start off, I would probably use Global global gloom um, if my player gets to go second but also within within a war or in the pvp if i've got two shots in a row i would use that to see what happens if i've only got one then i'll use this one to obviously possess and hope that they possess the other team again so that's my tips on nature now i just want to touch on something else i'm joining a war so there we are, there's my war, 
and as you can see we have a legendary nature and fire now you guys are probably saying every time it's a legendary what do I do well again if your team is strong stronger that you are going to attack if you've got a strong team to attack which in this case it's not really that strong I probably would just run my strongest legendary which you can see there is a water legendary 115 with 3 10 runes now again look at my team I don't really have a lot of team speeds in there now if the opposite team had a lot of team speeds then I would probably put my nature holding the team speed there I generally all the time have team speeds within my team now this is the team that I'm probably going to run on my war because the other team isn't as strong as I said and if they were I would change my nature for team speeds now just getting back to my PvP team there we are now I'm carrying four team speeds there I don't normally carry four but I, I've, I've set it up four and it's it's done well for me okay guys as I said that was my top three for nature but just just for a little bonus I'm just going to show you just some skill sets of um, Lagercan. Now, yes, I picked his name as Jack. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's let's hope Jack never sees this. But um, he can, he has a good skill set for to be a sort of a standard a legendary. Um, he also has a single stun there, and he has a daze move, which is good. A blind move, and a daze move again. Now, there's. If you have a lot of them and you can rank them up to 120 or so, then yeah, he can probably give some other legendaries or VIP legendaries a run for their money. Um, who else do I have? Oh yeah, we've got Mr. Snake Man from the maze. Again, I don't really like to use him. It's just my choice. Though he does have a good stun move, and then again he can poison them all. Another poison move, and he can heal all, all the um, friendly monsters with a, a massive special damage move and a poison move. So, again, my my choice is still the one on one. Okay, guys. So, if you liked that, push the like button. If you've got any questions, drop it in the comments.